So today we are going to discuss the laminar flow of blood in vessels. And we are also going to discuss the parabolic velocity profile during laminar flow. There are two basic types of blood uh, flow or flow of any fluid. One is the laminar flow and the other is turbulent flow. In this topic we are going to discuss the laminar flow and we will discuss the basic characteristics of laminar flow of blood in vessel. So laminar flow of blood is when blood flows at a steady rate through a smooth blood vessel in streamlines each layer of blood remaining the same distance from vessel wall and the central most portion of blood stays in the center of the vessel. This is opposite of the turbulent flow. So these are few characteristics of blood flow which will basically shows that the blood flow is a laminar flow and the characteristics are the blood flow will occur at a steady rate. It will be occurring at a similar rate and it will be through a smooth blood vessel in streamlines in one direction each layer of blood remaining the same distance from vessel wall and the central most portion of blood stays in the center of the vessel. So this is a blood vessel and it, it is showing different layers of blood. This is blood and we have supposed that the blood is basically present in different layers. These are molecules of blood which are laying on each other. They are making layers of blood. And these layers of blood here in the smooth or laminar flow, it is having few characteristics. It is basically flowing at a steady rate. It is flowing in streamlines. And each layer is having same distance from the vessel wall. And the central portion, the central layer of the blood is in the center of the vessel. If this is the vessel, this is the vessel, here is the center of the vessel. The center of the vessel will have the central portion of the blood. This is opposite of the turbulent flow. In turbulent flow, the blood flow will, the layer, the layers of blood in the vessels will not be flowing at a steady rate. They are not flowing at the steady rate. These layers are flowing at a steady rate. Here you can see that the flow rate is in some uh, uh, some some uh, some layers are flowing in one direction some are flowing in the opposite direction some are flowing at high speed some are flowing at low speed similarly this flow will not occur in smooth blood vessel it will occur in those blood vessels where they will it will encounter some obstruction and the the layers of blood will basically come back similarly the flow in turbulent in turbulent flow the the layers of blood will not be flowing in streamlines here the layers of blood are flowing in streamlines but here they are not flowing in streamlines here the flow is sometimes it is basically crossing the different layer it is moving from one side of the vessel to the opposite side of the vessel and they, this is occurring because the the blood is encountering some sort of obstruction or resistance. Similarly, layers in turbulent flow are not maintaining same distance from vessel wall. If we see here in the laminar flow, the distance of each layer is maintained from the vessel wall in a specific fashion. But here we do not see any specific distance of each layer from every other layer and from the vessel wall. So some of the layers are moving toward the vessel wall, some are moving away from the vessel wall, some layers are having more distance between the layers and some are having very low distance or low space between the different layers. And similarly the central most portion of blood, the central most portion of the blood which is staying in the center of the vessel in smooth flow or laminar flow. Here the central most layer of blood is not in the center of the vessel. So if these characteristics are present in any blood flow, it will be considered as laminar flow of blood. But if these characteristics, the steady rate, the smooth blood vessel, streamlines, same distance, 
central most portion of blood in the center if these are present it is laminar flow if these are not present it is the turbulent flow now we will discuss the parabolic velocity profile during laminar flow <clears throat> velocity of blood of flow in the center of the vessel is far greater than towards the outer edges because fluid in center can slip on many layers the velocity of the velocity of flow in the central vessel is far greater this is known as the parabolic velocity profile and we will explain it with the help of an example suppose we have a blood vessel and we are having some fluid on one side red colored fluid on one side and white fluid on the other side and these two fluids have been separated from each other with the help of a membrane as soon as the membrane is removed and the red colored is a allowed to move into the white we will see that the highest or the greatest speed of the this fluid will be in the center so if these are different layers these are different layers of this fluid the central most layer this central most layer this layer basically this layer it has moved far greater than these layers these layers these layers because the layers which are present near the vessel wall near the vessel wall they have they will move less as compared to the central layer and there there is one important factor for that the layer that is near the vessel wall it will have more friction force it will have more friction force and it will face more resistance so it will not be able to move that that far away but the central layer will have less resistance it will not be in touch with the endothelium of the vessel rather it will be slipping on another layer on another smooth layer from both the sides so it will move far far away as compared to the layer which is near the vessel wall and this effect is known as parabolic velocity profile during laminar flow and it says that velocity of flow in the center velocity of flow in the center of vessel is far greater than towards the outer edges so velocity of flow in the center is far greater than towards the outer edges because the central layer has a lot of layers to slip on the central layer has a lot of layers to slip on but the the layers on the edges have not much layers to slip on rather it is facing a lot of resistance and due to friction with the endothelium of the blood vessel so that's all about the laminar flow of blood in vessels and parabolic velocity of profile during laminar flow laminar flow is basically occurring at a steady rate in a smooth vessel in streamlines each layer remaining the same distance from the vessel wall and the central most portion of blood stays in the center of the vessel and this has been shown with this diagram the layers are moving at steady rate in a smooth vessel in streamlines maintaining the same distance and central portion remaining in the center in turbulent flow there will be no steady rate there will be it will not be moving in the streamlines it will not occur in smooth blood vessel and central it will not be maintaining same distance from the vessel wall and the layers in the center will not be in the center of the vessel and the parabolic velocity profile it means that velocity of flow in the center of the vessel is far greater than the outer edges because fluid in center can slip on many layers so that's all about the laminar flow of blood in vessel and parabolic velocity profile during laminar flow thanks a lot for watching the video